Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump here yet again, talking about the latest and the greatest and PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. So I noticed the other day, Lappy, who is a well-known developer in the PlayStation 4 space, also uh, Vita as well, has been working on this tool that's been called Icon Mask. And so with this, what you can do is, is that you can change your system menu icons to look something like this versus the standard default uh, square that the PlayStation 4 already uses. So this is kind of a nice kind of, I don't know, futuristic look here. You've got your classic PS Vita uh, cartridge here and then obviously old school a PlayStation 1. So I haven't covered this just yet on the channel simply because I was waiting for it to become a little bit more mature. I believe now is the point that you'd want to go ahead and you would want to take a look at this. Another thing that has been added on here is, is that not only could you replace your PlayStation 4 system icons with one of these patterns right here, but also there is an ability now where you can create and use your own icons, which we'll cover that in just a moment. So as always, I'll link to this tweet as well as the download file. I have went ahead and downloaded this and I have put it on my USB stick and it is over on my PlayStation 4. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we are on our PlayStation 4, and it is Icon Mask 1.05. Let's go ahead and hit X here, and let's get this thing installed. Let's go ahead and open this up. So basically, you're going to use L1 or R1 to change the mask. So right here is the mask, which is the PlayStation 5. You can also add a white border to it if you would like to. Here is the circle, the circle with the white border, the PS4 disc. We've got our box here to a square and then a polygon to bubbles. I'm totally digging the bubbles already. So there's also a glass box. There is the mechanic and there is a nano ring, an old movie as well as PS Vita, which I absolutely love this one. I can't wait to check this out. And there is your old school PS1 box art. And there is just the boring default, which was PS4. Okay, so let's scroll back through this and let's go to the one that says bubbles here. And I am going to press on where it says apply down at the bottom. And now this will take a bit of time if you have a ton of different games and applications installed on your PS4. But it's going to be well worth it once it finishes. Okay, so it says the mask was applied. Reboot the PS4 to see changes or change the mask and apply again. Okay, so I didn't reboot my PS4 just yet because I want to get a kind of a quick sample of what this might look like. So here is the payload guest application in PS4 Explorer. And there we go. We can see the internet browser has this nice little bubble effect. And oh yeah, I'm actually really liking this media option here too. Those, those bubbles look really cool. Let's try another one here. So this time I'm going to scroll through and this time we are going to pick the mechanic. I believe this is also one that's fairly new. So we're going to pick the mechanic and then again we will just suspend the application and see kind of what this looks like before doing a full reboot. And okay, so that is what the mechanic looks like. Again for the media section, this is really, really awesome. Okay, so looking pretty good here. There we go. We're going to apply this one. And I am going to turn on the transparent folder icon for this. So I put a check mark on that. And now I'm going to go to apply. Okay, and this is what the PS Vita one looks like. And here is our media apps. And that looks very good in my opinion. 
I'm really digging this one a ton. So in order for us to get the full effect, I think we'll go ahead and we will reboot the system here and then take a quick peek at the PS Vita being applied throughout the system. Okay, so a reboot has been applied and this is what the system looks like now. So in my opinion, this is probably where I'm going to keep it. This is a very awesome. I love these logos. I love the PS Vita kind of background of the cartridge on each and every one of these. It just looks great across the board, uh, in my opinion. Okay, and so while that is great to use some of the supplied shapes, etc., it would really be cool to use your own. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of the tool. So if we go back into our icon mask application, and we can see that there is this option down here that is simply called pre-made icons. Let's go ahead and click on that and see what it looks like. Okay, so basically the way that this works is, is that you select an icon that's already on your PlayStation 4 by using the L1 and the R1 buttons. And then on your USB stick, you can create a folder called icons. It, this folder also works if you create it in your slash data folder slash icons. And so once you have the icon of the PS4 logo selected that you would like to change, and then you can replace it with your own custom icon. But where would you go to get custom icons that the community has already built? Well, the community has you covered there. So this site right here, which I have talked about before, has a variety of different icons, but for the most part, they're going to be circular. So let's go up and you can see there is some PS5 logos. There is also just covers. So this looks really nice. There is a bunch of PS4 there. There is some homebrew icons, which I'm already kind of like loving this. While we're in here, we might as well grab a few of these to go and experiment with in just a moment. So we've got the homebrew store, we've got Orbis, we've got Easy Package Extractor, and then a couple of more. So let's go ahead and let's pick this new icon for the icon mask application. And let's go ahead and grab this new homebrew store icon. Both of those look really cool. Let's go up to, there's, oh yeah, there's also system here. So system has a variety of like the browser that's baked in and a few more. Don't really like any of those. So let's go back to 3D circular and let's see what all they have. So Battlefield, depending on what type of games you like to play, uh, Call of Duty obviously is in here. Control, the Crash Games, Crisis, Cyberpunk, all of these are the games that are pretty popular uh, so far. I haven't seen any games that you know, weren't necessarily uh, games that only a few players were playing. So you've got your God of Wars, a million Grand Theft Auto options, and then you've got Hitman. Uh, of course, Horizon is on there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pick one or two of these that we're going to use for our system. So let's start with the Metal Gear Solid 5 icon. And we'll take one more. And there's Need for Speed. And there's really just a ton of additional ones that's in there. I think for the most part for today, we're going to just stop right there. Okay, so I'm just going to use the USB method. And so I am here, I plugged in my USB stick and I just created a folder right here that is simply called icons. Once I created that folder, I'm gonna go into that folder and I am just going to paste those files that we just downloaded directly into this folder. Again, if you wanted to, you could put these into your slash data folder slash icons as was detailed in the tweet. Okay, let's go ahead and let's apply these things. So we will start with the icon mask and I'm just pressing the directional pad here and I'm going to change it with this icon mask icon that we downloaded 
And so once you find it, you just hit X and apply. And the next one that we're going to do is probably going to be the homebrew store. So let me navigate through and find that one. Okay, and there that one is. And you can see what was the before and what we were going to replace it with. So we'll hit X here. And it updates the icon immediately. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our Metal Gear Solid 5 to this new icon. So let's find it in our list here. And there we go. We're going to hit X to apply it. Okay, I believe that is where we're going to stop here. And let's go ahead and get back to our system menu and see the changes. Okay, and so I did reboot the system. And so you can see right off of the bat, there is the icon mask icon. Over here is the homebrew store and that icon that we changed it to. And then finally, our new and updated Metal Gear Solid 5 icon, which I love compared to the icon that was shipped with the game. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tool. If you watch and check out new streams of mine, you'll see I'm probably going to be hanging out right here with the PS Vita icon mask, uh, at least for a little while. I'm digging it. It brings me back to some old school stuff. So anyway, I hope that you found something useful out of this video, and I greatly appreciate you for hanging out with me today. With that being said, Michael out.